gonna be one in there, man. Oh! <laughs> G'day everyone, welcome to another Full Scale Fishing Adventures episode. This morning I've got my good friend Tom and his lovely raft. We're going to do a drift down the river, hopefully catching a surface cod. It's that prime time in the morning, so let's get this raft into the water and get casting. So how cool is this raft? Such a great way to fish. Um, just so accessible because you just you know you inflate it it comes in a bag super easy so all i've got is the ballista um, juggernaut um, bit of a hook uh, customization so i've got double split rings nice thin gauge hooks and that's just on a six foot six bait caster 30 pound braid on one of the komodos and just a 60 pound hard armor uh, supple leader i like using supple leader for cod fishing Looks good, man. Alright, I'm just like making sure I got the... <laughs> <laughs> got everything. Yeah. Water's not that cold. Oh. <laughs> you think it's cold? I didn't think it was that cold. It's tail, tail water cold. Tail water cold. Yeah. Alright. We get our first rapid for the day, for the morning. Uh, it looks pretty tight. It's pretty tight. <laughs> Into the trees. We need some more data. Yeah. <laughs> that was very well done. It ain't over yet. <laughs> I'm glad that you were paddling first though. I'm just getting oh, I don't think I don't think I would have navigated that quite as successfully as what you did. In the distance. Very well done. We, made it. we did it. Big pool. Yeah. to just mill around in for a bit. Yeah. So you can literally just circle around if you want and hit all the edges and stuff. Yeah, it's funny, like, uh, some of the spots, you're better off getting out and um, having a fish, and then, like, this sort of stuff, which is not really accessible uh, for the most of it, especially out wide. Um, you know, the raft's just absolutely perfect for it. <laughs> I remember, do you remember that one that didn't stick on the first morning we top watered? Like, and he ate it in that tiny pocket over the lay down? Yeah, yeah. That, like, yeah. It wasn't a big one though. No. Nah. But it was in far. far yeah, far, yeah. Far, yeah. Like. And I think that was the thing that we did learn uh, was that. Uh, it, you know, they will be in real fast stuff. And that was something I probably didn't cover some of the water I could have because I thought it was a bit fast, but particularly trout cod, they like to sit in that really fast stuff. Yeah. It's like what you talk about the hydro pocket, like it's, you know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they're built for short birth. Yeah. Right? Like when you like you put them, it's the exact same feeling. Like they just go power. The so power eat it and then just be like I'm done for it. Yeah man. Yep. Look at that wedge over there. In there, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's all this amazing stuff. So it's not too really Yeah, like I was like... <laughs> See, look at these limbs here. It's hard to... Yeah, it's and hard it's... Pr it. Nah. Yeah. And it's like, I don't know, you chuck in there and you're moving so fast and stuff, it is hard. On top of it, This is beautiful through mm -hmm. here, man. I 
it's almost like doing the same drift over and over. You're yep. like, okay, we're coming up to that. Yeah, sure absolutely. Learning the learning the water is just huge for cod fishing because it is all about percentages and not getting stuck in a tree. <laughs> but just yeah, maximising every single cast. Because you go through those periods, it's like, oh yeah, you know, that was a bit shallow. And the next time you go there, you skip that and go down to the next good bit. Because you know. Got him. <laughs> oh. Well, that was pretty cool. Oh. <laughs> I love me a rod tip bite. <laughs> Uh, very, very nice spot to get out as well. That was very cool. Awesome. <laughs> Shred my hands. Yeah, but like I say, I've just done a few hook mods here and just hanging a bit lower using really fine gauge travels because as you can see, he's only hooked by one little bit of the travel there. Just put my rod up there. Absolutely sensational clear water cod. They are just the most beautiful looking fish. And I think it's just so so unique about the Murray cod that we have and the different waters you can go to. You know, there's, there's so many different colours and they just change as they go down through the river system. And this river actually runs into the Murray um, where I fish down a lot further down. And you know, it's several thousands of kilometres, or thousand, a few thousand kilometres further downstream. Um, and it's cool to be able to come up and catch these real dark coloured ones in the real clear water. Now Mr Fish, I think we got oh, one on each other because you are just tearing my poor thumb to bits. He's a beautiful fish. He's got him. Oh dear. <laughs> Absolutely gored my thumb so bad. So my thumb was doing really well, now it's destroyed. <laughs> so glad you got one in this section. This is a section that I haven't seen anyone fish properly. Oh, okay, so yeah, right. When it's lower, this is fast and there's lay downs across it. Yep. Like there's lay downs over there. Yeah, you can water. see that current, yeah. yeah. So I haven't ever been able to see what it's like. Oh, anyone that likes cod thumb is out of their minds that's just like the biggest divot out of my thumb this section looks really nice now it's higher because all the lay downs are submerged yeah okay it's clean like you used to rowing this in the past you had to zigzag oh you right you can't go because that comes is above the water normally yeah in full summer so because the ovens is lower obviously yeah like, yeah Really well, I think it's only a few. Well, no, probably only a couple of weeks from when we did it last time. Really. More water this season. Yeah. Old La Nina. I think sometimes I we. Have one glurp it static. Uh, I reckon I would have in the Broughton for sure. So oh, the splash is so important, like. So many different types of fish, the splash is so important. Oh! <laughs> it was always going to be one in there though, he might come back. <laughs> Just like, no weight at all, hey. <laughs> Funny, I reckon if you gave him a sec rather than just pumbling it straight back in there. He resets. Yeah, already. just give him a sec, you know. All well and good for the dude, not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, just give us yeah, a sec. Alright. <laughs> uh, right. He's like, ooh, it's back again. Good bite. But yeah, just no weight or nothing. That one did track a bit further upstream than where yeah. <laughs> Oh. 
such a good sound. Yeah. It's the air sound, isn't it? Yeah. You hear that? <laughs> yeah. He's, He's definitely in there. He's like, to ooh. I have to be looking. I like that one. Better line. He's not coming back. No. <laughs> It's like you had your chance. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we didn't get one to eat a spinnerbait after either last year. No, nah, I don't think. I think like you were saying that they exert so much energy. Cod being cod, you know, you will get them. They'll, you yeah, know, you back time. it up after with a spinnerbait. But probably, you know, as a bit of a rule, they've put in so much to have that first initial bite. They're just like, yeah, well, I can't be bothered now. That's got some real depth. Yeah. That was a better sized fish, I reckon. Do you reckon it was bigger than like Yeah, one? like a, yeah, I reckon it would have been, you know, 60, 70 sort of fish. Oh, he was in there. You knew he was in there. <laughs> in the backwater next to the blueberries, the blackberries. Oh, <laughs> he was in a little fatty. Oh. oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got him that time. <laughs> oh, come off. <laughs> oh, uh, it's like, it must be like 20 centimeters long. I, I really, it almost seemed like there was two. That was a better fish. Yeah. This one was, like the one you hooked was better than the one. Well, I know, I reckon the one in the bush was different. Like, I reckon it's almost been three fish. <laughs> <laughs> it was such a, it was and he would have put like so much into oh. it too. Oh, uh, yeah, that like, Good it's lock. funny that native timber, they like native timber. Makes sense. Yeah, it does. Like our trout actually like willows. Well, and you could have a um, uh, have a log that's been in the water, and I've seen it, um, like in the Murray, where you know a log's been in the water for thirty years and it hasn't changed a whole heap. But you have a willow that's been in the water for like ten years, and it's almost completely decomposed. Like they just break down so much quicker, and I think that's why, you know, that's why you get those toxins in the water from them because they just break down so fast. Well, that will just keep this taste. Ah, this is really nice, yeah. this little bit here, yeah. I'll just put a few, like I'll put sure, one up in there and then one in there, right, yeah. Like. And then in amongst that bush, maybe, if it's a little bit of depth there. <laughs> that <can't be> <laughs> you made that like, ooh. <laughs> Boom. Such a good bite. That was a good one. Twice. <laughs> <laughs> ah. How did that not hook up? Wow, that was a good bite. Six bites to one landed. So yeah. That's the, that's, where, yeah, that's, that's where it's surfacing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 You would have thought that. I thought the second one he got it really well. Yeah. Too. Like. Amazing how aggressive too, you know, go up, boof it, obviously turn around, come back again and boof it. And then the third time he's got it. Not a huge fish, but still. How awesome. 
you reckon that's the same one? Must have been. Must have been. Yeah. He's got travel marks on He him. does. <laughs> oh, very cool. I reckon if you just hold us in the current here, I'll yeah, just get a good of a grab on him. Oh, already going. Oh, he's a nice one. Oh, I'll just get a grab on him here. Look at that. Beautiful fish. Look at that. Beautiful Ovens River surface cod. That is awesome. Now, buddy, we, we can be friends here. If you just let me get that out of there. And then pop that out of there. Okay. Happy days. Very nice fish. That is just a lovely cod. And just came back and back and back. Alright. He's gone. Beautiful man, that was very cool. Gonna be one in there, man. Oh! <laughs> oh! Drop fish on the drop. Oh, and called it too. It's just like, yep. <sighs> That was really cool, <laughs> really cool. He's only, he's only a little guy, but man, he's happy. That was very, very Nothing. awesome. <laughs> couldn't believe it, luck. That was almost my favorite. <laughs> yeah, bite. yeah, really good bite. He's fat, look at the, how fat he is. Yeah, I think so. Don't oh. come to the raft. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful fish, absolutely stunning. Stunning cod, and he is so grumpy. Why are you all hooking yourselves where I have to hold you with my casting hand? Check him out. That is just sensational. <laughs> that was so good. So good. It's actually nice for me and the fish. My pants are all wet, so it's easy to unhook them and you're not gonna destroy their slime in the process. Beautiful fish. How good was that, dude? So good. All right, mate. Off he goes. Oh, that was scum porn. Yeah, there'll be one there. I was gonna say, when you chucked at the fish that ate it on the drop, I was like, get it moving. Yeah. Like, what are you doing? Uh, yeah. Nah, I reckon sometimes. I think you make an assessment of each um, spot. Each spot, yeah. If you've got the time to leave it, just leave it. Yeah. So I think sometimes when there is like lots of current, you know, they're expecting it to move straight away. Um, then that it could be a bird falling out. Yeah. Of the nest and yeah. And it's like they'd be just stunned. Yeah. Like that nest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Literally that one. Yeah. <laughs> Still got a little bit of gnarliness to it. Yeah. I just want to set up on the back side so we go down that. Oh yeah, this bit here, yeah, yeah. The raft just bounces nicely over it all. That's the spot. <laughs> Funny, you didn't even have to say it. I'm like, I'm going in there. Wow, this is a good so bit. Even up the top left there, which yeah. is Hopefully, you can just mill around in this back water. Doesn't this look like big fish water? Beautiful, yeah, yeah. Got to be something in there. Typical big fish water though, they just, you know, you fish it a hundred times and then one time you'll come down here and you'll get a metery.
Have you felt your energy zap? Oh, no, I'm pretty excited. Big log we're going over. Um, it's just interesting how that bite is very distinctively shut off. Yeah. Well, that is top water time, done and dusted. Super interesting to see, you know, the bite was really good for that sort of two hour period, just as the, it was starting to get bright. Um, and then things are really slowed down, but such an enjoyable way to fish. Thanks very much for Tom for being on the oars. He does such a great job. He's got a really good channel. If you're into your fly fishing, um, there's heaps of cool trout videos on there. So go check out Tom Jarman Fishing. Um, give us a like and leave a comment if you like topwater cod. I don't think there's anyone in Australia that doesn't like catching a top on, cod on top water. Um, yeah, and if you subscribe to the channel, you won't miss any of the episodes. We will catch you all next time.